Hey guys, Chase Tech here. Today I'm actually checking out this tower I found here in rural Clear Lake, uh, Wisconsin. That is AT&T with C-Band and DoD. We're going to give it a test here on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. I was doing some testing earlier. The site seems to be fairly backhaul limited. Um, it is an AT&T only model pull. No other carrier on this. Verizon is just over. You might, if I zoom in here, is just on that water tower. Um, sorry about the zooming. 305 down, pushing 100 up, 108, 110, 111, 112. And like I said, we're literally in the middle of a farm field. Uh, yeah, this is the first rule um, AT&T side with, um, with mid-band that I've seen. I'm about 45 minutes from my house. It's actually the closest site to my house that has C-Band, DOD. I was getting a little faster on my iPhone. I was getting like 350, uh, but I have the turbo add-on on my iPhone. But yeah, as you can see, 5G Plus from AT&T. Very nice, 111 down, or 301 down, 112 up. Let's run Verizon just for, just to see what they're doing right here. I'm sorry, folks, it might be kind of hard to see this. This is an iPhone SE. It's probably the only iPhone SE on the Verizon Ultimate plan. Anyway, so even, oof. So even this far away from the site, it looks like Verizon is still faster pulling 670. That's actually one of the fastest tests I've ever ran on this phone. So 670 down, 52 up, 53. But yeah, this is the first AT&T C-Band UD site I've ever seen in my area. I'll just give you another look through the glass here. But man, is that ever nice to have so what that tells me is, so my, my local AT&T, and I'll run one more just so you guys don't just hear me, you know, whatever. This AT&T site has um, very limited backhaul. So it's somewhat like my local site, but not nearly as bad. So my local site is capped at 100 megabit backhaul. So the most you can ever get is like 70 meg, even at like three in the morning. So yeah, I really hate that it's so so video kept but anyway yeah look at that 309 down 152 on the up very fast i am actually going to go ahead and switch to my iphone recording and then we'll do verizon t-mobile and at&t speed test on there all right you guys join me on the iphone i got at&t queued up here this is the at&t unlimited premium with the turbo add-on so this is like as high priority as you can get as a consumer I believe business has also the same priority. So I am very close to the site. So we're definitely getting some umbrella effect. I, I would guess this site has a 500 megabit backhaul link. I don't see any fiber here, but I also don't see any kind of wireless radios on the tower. So I, I'm guessing it probably does. So yeah, 309 down, 153 up. Let me actually try the AT&T Chicago server. That tends to be the fastest one. Let's see if I can search for it. AT&T Wireless Chicago. This phone's a little warm, so maybe that's part of it. I am holding it directly pointed up towards the site. I'm very excited because I want AT&T to bring this to my local site. So we're getting up to there, 300. Close. I saw 350. I'll show you that test in just a second. But yeah, the upload actually on this site's really good. 160 almost. Yeah, not quite 160. I bet you could get it. So yeah, I'll show you the test I ran as I was just kind of driving over here. I had 347. And that was just over on another side road when I was kind of looking for the site. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to... Uh, let's do T-Mobile to see how they're doing. Alrighty, we are connected to T-Mobile here on 5G Ultra Capacity. I'm guessing they're running 190 megahertz. Not sure. Ooh, we're losing bars for some reason. All right, let's go ahead and restart. Sometimes the app just needs a restart. All right, there we go. Really low latency, 18 milliseconds. 
We're jumping right up to 500, 600. Yeah, so it looks like all the carriers. I'm not sure where the T-Mobile site is because it's not on that water tower. It could be just off the distance and maybe I just didn't see it, but this is definitely, huh. Yeah, so 662 down, 61.2 up. Not too bad, we're on one more. Wow, it's going to turn out that they're all faster than AT&T, even though I'm sitting in the AT&T site. AT&T definitely has some catching up to do, but this site realistically only needs a backhaul upgrade and would be well over a gig if it had the backhaul. I don't know about the fiber internet availability here, but if T-Mobile and if Verizon can get an AT&T share, they can too. All right, let me go ahead. Yeah, so 695 down, 56.2 up. Let me switch over to Verizon and see how they're doing, even though we kind of already saw them, but we'll test them on the same phone just so we have a relative idea of all the same carriers. Alrighty, I just switched it over to Visible. We'll give it a second here to grab some service. Uh, I'll just make sure I'm not running and switch to my other phone. Cool. So, well, not to the T Mobile server. So it looks like we're going to Ballin. Ballin's fairly close to here. Oh, I may have given T-Mobile a slight advantage with the prioritized server. I'm sorry for that, but it that's really only going to make a difference with the ping. So, so pretty about the same as the iPhone SE. A little faster. 736. This is visible plus, by the way. It's not uh, postpaid Verizon, but it shouldn't make a difference. Alrighty, we'll run one more. Ping's decent, 55. Yeah, I'm going to get out and get a couple pictures of this site before I leave, but... 759 down. Pushing 40 here. Forty five on the up, not too bad. And just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna switch over to US cellular and we'll see how they doing with roaming on AT. &T. Okay, I switch it to US cellular. Um I'm this normally takes a while to actually get service if you're um have have to roam on a carrier network. Oh my car is freaking out because I've been sitting for too long. Anyway, okay. Here we go. US cellular five G. Let's go ahead and click go. I don't know if this will actually show. I don't know if this will actually show um, 5G Plus. I don't think it will, but I'm led to believe it's connected to it. We can check. Feel free to call this number. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, let's see. It's not showing anything. It's definitely connected to AT&T. I don't know. I'm guessing it's using it. Uh, maybe not, actually. Because the uploads, though. I don't know. Because there's a good possibility that this site would do 300 megabit over low band 5G and LTE. So. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.